Pinch yourself. It's real. The GOAT is hanging him up. And one of his top targets, you know, Tom said, it's always about the teammates. One of his favorite teammates right here, Wing, and Julian Edelman. Thanks for the memory, babe, as he so affectionately called 11, and 11 called him. These two connecting 580 times for 6,311 6, yards and 36 touchdowns. All right, let's welcome in of Pick 6 Podcast fame, our guy Will Brinson. Uh, Will, we need your general reaction here first. I know it's hard to put into words 22 seasons worth of dominance, seven Super Bowls, highlights, lowlights, injuries, and everything in between. All that Tom Brady was, when I say Tom Brady, the first thing that comes to your mind is what? I mean, goat, right? I mean, it's like you say Tom Brady, Musso, and a goat emoji, a big goat emoji pops in my head because he's the greatest of all time. I mean, it's... You know, uh, if, by the way, first of all, credit where credit's due. Our guy, Jason Lockenfora, had this on Friday night saying that, that Tom Brady was going to walk away from football. Nailed that scoop. A monster scoop. Credit to JLC for doing just that. Um, as far as Brady goes, you know, I, I, like I've been covering the NFL for CBS uh, since the 2010 season. And I believe it's something like 80% of the Super Bowls that I've attended, and I've, I've, I've missed one of them, uh, featured Tom Brady in them. I mean, it's crazy. He just was there year after year, even when he had bad teams. Um, you know, I, I always think, I mean, I, like, if you're, if, you're my, if you're my age, your age, mm -hmm. you know, anywhere in the general age range of somebody who is an adult, uh, you know, who's been watching football for their whole lives, Tom Brady is just part of your life. I mean, it, you know, it came in on the scene in 2001, and it's 2022, Musso. The guy's been winning Super Bowls for over two decades. Like, I mean, the, 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 the number of wins, the sheer shocking statistics that you see, and, and like when you, you know, it's like, Brady's career playoff wins, and the next closest is Joe Montana with 16, and Brady's got like 435 or something. I'm kidding. It's like I think it's like 43 or 34, one of those two. But it's like the gulf between his statistics, particularly playoff statistics, and the next closest guy is just almost unfathomable to even see when 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 the stats pop up there. And I, I truly don't think we'll ever see anything like Tom Brady again because, you know, look, as good as Patrick Mahomes has been, four seasons, uh, you know, coming out of the gate, hosting the AFC Championship game, is still just, what, one Super Bowl title so far. Uh, you know, Brady, I don't think he lost a playoff game for the first four, three, four years of his career. I mean, the guy is just unbelievable. Then morphed into this, you know, just dynamic passer with monstrous statistics and eventually, uh, you know, became, uh, you know, somebody who, even in, in like a, a, an age where we didn't see, like at a, a, you know, his age, we didn't see quarterbacks winning Super Bowls. He still pulled it off. And then the cherry on top, you know, he goes to Tampa Bay and wins one without Belichick. Just the GOAT is it, simple, simple as that, really. Uh, we can frame it a million different ways, but it is as simple as that. The greatest of all time who built so much room between himself and the rest of history. And it seems appropriate that on the eve of Championship Sunday, the guy who's played in countless, I, I believe, 14 of his 22 seasons appeared on Championship Sunday. It feels right that this is the day that we tip our cap to TB12. Uh, you lay out so much there from what he did in New England with such sustained success to the immediacy that he saw success in Tampa Bay, winning a Super Bowl in year one. What does that tell you, not just about Tom Brady, the athlete on the field, but the allure that he brought to each and every one of these different locker rooms year after year? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we always talk about the Patriot way and, and what it means and, and the, you know, the attitude that you come with to practice. And this is how what Bill Belichick built. And it is. And it is. But, you know, the reality when we start talking about a Belichick or Brady, um, you know, discussion like, oh, who gets more credit? It, it, they both built it. You know, Tom Brady wasn't just the perfect quarterback because he was humble and he, you know, and, and, uh, like, and because he played well and he's the greatest quarterback of all time. He's also the perfect quarterback for Bill Belichick because he came in with this workmanlike blue collar attitude. He didn't, you know, peacock around. He didn't run his mouth. You, you, every single teammate that you've ever heard play with him is always stunned that Tom Brady would come up to him and be like, hey, what's up, babe? And, you know, slap him on the back when they're their <laughs> first day there. And then he was, you know, approachable and, you know, he, he was treated with the Patriots like any other guy in the locker room. And then he took that attitude, that 24-7 that grinded out mentality, the workmanlike attitude, and brought it to Tampa Bay, and it raised the floor for everybody else. You, know, you, you hear guys like Leonard Fournette talk about it, and they're like, man, I mean, you can't, I can't let this guy down. 
And it happened on both sides of the ball from offense and for defense. The way that those guys fought for Tom Brady, it, you know, we always be like, oh, like Brady replaced Jameis Winston. And he's worth, you know, you go from seven wins to a Super Bowl. But, you know, the reality is, it's, it, and this is not a knock on Jameis Winston. It's, it's just about Brady. Like, the guy is so good. And he, the, the, the approach he brings to the game and for preparation and all of that is so just laser focused that it changed the way that Tampa Bay operated. And they went out and won a freaking Super Bowl in a pandemic <laughs> with a 43 year old quarterback. Uh, Will Brinson and the guys going to break all this down at length on the Pick 6 podcast. And the beauty of that forum and platform is we do get to project things forward a little bit. So with that in mind, Will, I want to ask you, what does life after football look like for Tom Brady? I mean, I guess he'll have to deal with, you know, hanging with his beautiful supermodel wife and his lovely children in their many multi-million dollar homes. And I, I like if I if I was if it were me and I was the greatest quarterback of all time and I was retiring from football to go spend time with Giselle and my and my lovely children, I would I would actually Musa build a Scrooge McDuck vault and go swimming in money. Like I would just I would say, you know, what's the one reasonable. thing nobody's actually ever done, right? Just build the McDuck McDuck vault. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what he'll do. I think he'll take some time away. I think he'll continue to be present in our lives because, mm -hmm. you know, it's easy as a very big brand and he'll keep pushing the TV 12 lifestyle. I, I would expect that. I don't know that he, he wants to get into coaching or broadcasting. If he, if he did, he'd probably be great at it. Uh, but I would expect that he takes some time away, spend some time with his family and, you know, five years. I, I think it was, uh, you, you mentioned at the end there with JJ a little while ago, you know, fast forward the five years and just put him in Canton. Like, let's let's get a waiver for this guy and just drop <laughs> him in right now. Uh, it only seems right, and I had to lay that out for you. Put it on a tee, and he knocked it out of the park. Will Brinson, we thank you for taking the time. All right, let's take a look at some Super Bowl statistics when it comes to the career that was for Tom Brady. Seven for Tom, and you can only situate him against franchises, not individuals. He has seven, one more than the Patriots who have six, all of which belong to him as well. Steelers next in line with six. The Cowboys have five. The 49ers will look to jump to six, perhaps in early February. Pinch yourself. It's real. The goat is hanging him up. And one of his top targets, you know, Tom said, it's always about the teammates. One of his favorite teammates right here, Wang and Julian Edelman. Thanks for the memory, babe, as he so affectionately called 11 and 11 called him. These two connecting 580 times for 6,311 6, yards and 36 touchdowns. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.